Hi, am I critical on the Philippines? Uh, I don't think so. Um, I remember going to the Philippines in 2007 where the information you could find online back then was a decade out of date on average. And you get people sell you the dream. And then when you look into the person, you find out they don't even live there. Uh, a lot of them had flown the roost, gone back home, and some of them were just the old paradise thoughts about moving to the Philippines and they go on holiday there, there every year. Which gets back to some of the comments I get, uh, some of the flack where people go, oh, you know, I know better than you do. I holiday there like every year or whatever. Yes, you go on holiday. It's a different thing. Um, living somewhere is nothing like on holiday. It's a bit like somebody said, oh, the people at the market, I only make friends. and all this. You don't even know what they're saying about you to your face. You, you know, don't even go there until you've actually done it. Don't talk talk out your uh, hat. <laughs> um, I know I, I'm saying this not for to be abusive, but simply because you do not know what's going on around you. People do stuff you wouldn't believe once you understand the language. Um, you get taxi drivers talking to your partner, trying to up the price of the taxi um, blatantly. But if you're sat there thinking, oh, well, you know, I'm having a great time here. And you're actually getting um, somebody trying to rip you off to your face. But you just don't understand what they're saying. So that sort of thing goes on. So I would be very wary about things oh i'm so great everybody thinks i'm fantastic whatever you don't know what anybody's saying about you and don't don't expect everything to be so nice um we don't live in disney world um but the whole point is my channel is about information it's about thinking it's about okay what if what if something did happen what would i do about it what if my house burned down? What if, what if a typhoon hit my home? Have I got money abroad to get to get me out of trouble and start again? Because a lot of people do not think about any of this stuff. They do not think about what happens if the person they're dating is um, already married, which is something I've seen more than once. Uh, the wife they married is not the what they imagine them to be um i've seen people lose well somebody lost everything um a business that cost over 10 million pesos his wife basically sold it from under him and he ended up um with nothing i mean literally nothing um i know a, a guy that was um dumped in the Philippines. They were like supposed to be going with his wife to the Philippines from the US um, and basically looking to settle in the Philippines. He got sick. She left him there. Um, she cashed in his social security checks and basically left him in the Philippines to die when she sold the house in the US and run off with her boyfriend in the US. So these things do happen. I'm not saying they're going to happen to everybody because they don't. What does happen, though, is if you're thinking, well, hang on, let's have a, th have a think about something before I do it, you're more likely to prepare yourself just in case something does go wrong. Um, I always keep money offshore as well as onshore, not because I don't trust my wife, because I actually do trust my wife. My, you know, me and my wife are happily married. But if we got hit with a typhoon, I've got money to get me back to work to actually fund getting our life back on track. That is pre-planning. A lot of people don't even think that far ahead. Um, I met a guy with his little bum bag. Um, he, he rented an apartment off me. He turns up hasn't paid his deposit or anything yet. I let him like sell it and I said to him, look, I'll come back, I'll show you around the town and everything, let you know where everything is. But he's the new tourist, he's, he's here, he's all excited. So what does he do? He gets on a jeepney and he goes into town and he's robbed. Now, his little bum bag, which do not carry a bum bag wherever you are, not only is it, um, uh, an obvious rob me 
but it just looks so stupid. Um, I would never, I couldn't understand why anybody would have a, a bum bag. I don't understand that. Um, an undershirt bag, money bag, fair enough. At least it hides your money, but also you don't want to open it up in public either. But anyway, he comes back and has some sort of nervous breakdown. So there he is. He's, I've, I've come to like take the guy around the town. He's not responding. He's like, he's like curled up on the sofa, pretending to be asleep. And I'm thinking, what the hell has happened to this guy? Uh, runs up a tab at our store. Following day, disappears. Just vanishes. Uh, you know, he left the place stinking of cigarettes and stuff. It took two weeks to get the smell of him out of the place. Um, but it was like when we were clearing it out, I mean, the guy didn't pay his rent, nothing. He just vanished. He turned the place into docile, run up a debt on the, the store and he was gone. But I found like a bag under his bed. He's a mental patient. He's another bipolar, um, person that's gone to the Philippines thinking everything's fantastic. Now. I'm not saying all bipolar guys shouldn't be there. What I'm saying is this guy obviously shouldn't have been. But you find that it's not just people have these mental conditions. A lot of it is they blame other people for their problems. Um, and I find that's part of society these days. Nobody actually blames themselves for anything. And he was a prime example. It wasn't the fact that he put a, a bum bag with a thousand dollars in it and gone out onto a jeepney and got pickpocketed and robbed. It was our fault for being in a bad area, but he wasn't even in our area. He'd actually gone out into the main road and gonna, the guy was just an idiot. Um, it's just one of, being pickpocketed happens all the time in the Philippines. Uh, I can't even remember how many people I know. It must be at least six in the last two years that got pickpocketed. Um, but the common sense thing is here, I say don't take a lot of money on the uh, jeepney. What I do is I flip my pockets backwards so you can't get any money out of them. Because, um, you know, if your pockets are backwards, you can't actually push your hand in there to get the money out in the first place. There's a bit of free advice. But that's the sort of thing, this is what this channel's for. And if the guy had actually waited five minutes, I would have sorted him out, took him around the town, he wouldn't have had any of the problems he had. But he actually fled and moved up to Madawi, which is a lot worse than where we are, because we're a bit more rural. Um, but is the guy still alive today? He's probably jumped off the Mactan Bridge like many others have. Um, but let's not talk about the Mactan Bridge, because that's something that that's another story for another day.